All right, northwest. There he is. Alrighty, hello everyone, Fudgy here, and welcome back to another Unturned video. So, welcome back to Unturned Life. I am super excited for today's episode because the Sopranos have been in touch with me, and they said they want to show me something pretty cool. Now, I have absolutely no idea what they want or what they want to show me, but I have everything together, and I'm ready to go over there. So, I think I'm just going to take Choppy with me. It's the easiest way to get to Soprano Island. And look, we got Nick back. The last episode, Mean Thief the Legend brought him back. And I am so happy he's here. Look at it. It's so good. I never thought I'd see him again. All right, we have 62% uh, fuel. So we should be good to get there. So yeah, I always like it when the Mafia or the Sopranos, they get in touch with me. Because whenever they say they have something cool to show me, it usually is really cool. So I am very excited to see whatever it is. But yeah, I'm just super happy we got Nick back in the last episode. If you missed out, um, feel free to go watch it. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to land Choppy, I reckon, actually on the island because both helipads are taken. In fact, that's the Sky Crane we got Nick, Nick back from with Meme Thief. I don't know why it's here. Maybe Meme Thief's here. I doubt it, though. All right, we're coming in for landing now, though. Here we go. Soprano Island. We've been uh, to Soprano Island quite a lot recently. Oh, there's Docs. Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey, boy, Morris. So, I've got something planned up for you today. Alright. I'm gonna show you something super secret. Alright, sounds pretty cool, man. You're gonna have to follow me. Alright. I'm pretty excited for this, dude. This better be good. Oh, we're gonna take the, the boat? I guess we are. Oh, I'm about to get decapitated. No, I'm good, I'm good. So, wherever he's taking me, we need to get a boat there for some reason, which is interesting. But yeah, these are the kind of episodes I really enjoy doing is like when Sopranos are up to something or, or something's going on and they want to show it off to me. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. Where are we going anyway? We're not going to military base, are we? Are we going where I think we're going? I think we're going to the secret um, underwater park where you find the grizzly. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't think these guys actually knew about it, but I guess they do live pretty close to this place. Just gotta wait now, I guess. Wait and see if it is exactly where it's taking me. Hey, man, the secret spot. I didn't know you knew about this. Yeah, we've known about it for quite a while. Ah. So, uh, I'm just gonna have to put on... I'm gonna drop a snorkel on the ground. I'm just gonna have to put it on. Alright. I'm gonna have to swim down. Okay. He's down here. Alright, he's dropped me a snorkel. Yep. Alright, let's put it on. There we go. Oh, what is this? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get my honey badger out. It has a lot... Oh, wait. Oh! Dudes! <laughs> hey, fellas! Oh, wow, we've got Stefano here! S Labs? Restricted area? Beep, beep, boop. I'm going to shoot you now, so you better close your eyes so you feel less pain. Alright, I don't know how that works. Sorry, I'm just reading some science. Okay. Welcome to S Labs. Here we believe in science first. As this compound is working on something extremely confidential, so please refrain from taking photos. Aha! Well, it doesn't say anything about recording or videoing. I mean, it comes under the same... You know what, whatever. This facility is supported by the Soprano family. We provide them with the newest products to keep them one step ahead of the Fugoists and other extremist groups. Ah, fair enough. If you are going to head into the cave, please do not be afraid to ask a staff member to provide you with a snorkel and an oxygen tank. All right, well, this place has uh, oxy generators, right? Yep. All right, we should be fine. We shouldn't need an oxygen tank since it has that. All right. Oh, this place is really cool. Um, I, I assume it's waterproof. <laughs> Guys, this must have taken you so long to build all this. How many people worked on it? About three of us. About three of you. That's not bad for three, three people. This place is insane. I actually wanted to build a base down here myself, but I guess you guys beat me to it. Look at this. Oh, that yeah, is crazy. Really yeah, I can see, man. It looks it looks really cool. So down here, you just the hallway. In here, you've got another office. So is this one of the uh, scientists? Scientist, okay. Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you, man. Berry mixer. Nice. <laughs> it looks like a mad scientist. Okay. We'll leave him to uh, get back to work. Alright, let's carry on. Oh, 
Oh, there's more. It goes up. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. You can access the gas tanks from here. Oh, nice. Oh, and there's the oxy generator down there. All right, nice one. Let's carry on a tour. I'm actually blown away by this place. How have these guys kept this a secret all this all this time? You know, I kind of wanted to build a base here myself, but never mind. Oh, this is where they keep generating. Wow. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I don't think you guys will ever run out of fuel. Look how cool this place is. There's so many people here as well. Here we've got oh. some more offices. All right. Oh, this is so. This is this is actually. I'm not even kidding when I say this. This might be the coolest thing I've seen in Unturned. Oh, we got another scientist here. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. All right, what's this? The lab. Ooh. Here we have the lab. All right. I guess this is where things get really. Um. <laughs> what is he doing? He's fishing under the water. Ah, very nice. Oh, you guys are going to be making some serious money with this place. Feel free to just try a berry. Uh, try a berry. Um, hey, scientist dude. Can you uh, give me one of your finest berries, please? Let's see. Oh. Alright, thank you. And has this been tested? And it's, it's definitely safe, right, to eat? Yeah. All right, wish me luck, boys. What is that? Oh, it's a berry injection. All right, I'm going to try this then. It's apparently a berry injection. Okay, let's do it. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. The scientists. What's it doing? Oh, bubbles. Let's try catching the bubbles. Let us one there. <laughs> All right, it's worn off. That was interesting. What was that? Yeah, uh, I, I think I think the buyers are definitely gonna like that stuff. Thank you, scientist so, guy. See you around. Got one last room to show you. All right, one more room. Berry farm. Berry ah, farm. so this is where you keep all the products. I see. Oh, we gotta go through it's the really uh, the bushes here. What? This place is massive. This must have took ages to build. This is actually madness right now. I can't believe. How far this corridor goes on for? You ready oh. to see it? Oh, that doesn't look very, uh, very nice. Okay. Whoa. No way. Look how many berries these guys have. Probably at least a thousand diamond shoe coins worth of berries. Right here. Dude, I can imagine. Oh, and this is where you get the grizzly from. Hey, there's a grizzly here as well. You guys must be making yeah, so much money from this it. place. Wait, I can take it? Yep. Are you sure? Oh, what a legend. Course, Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I can't believe how many berries you have, though. That is just absolute madness. I don't know. You guys are just going to be so rich. If you need uh, any help with these berries, by the way, if you need help like planting them or delivering them, just hit me up and you know, I don't mind working. Right. Oh, I might have just harvested one. I'm sorry. Uh, my bad. This place is top secret. Yeah, dude, honestly, don't worry. You know, obviously, I'm a, I'm a soprano myself. I'm not going to tell anyone about this. You know, if the Fugoists ever found out about... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? I just heard a massive explosion. All right, guys, let's quickly just go check it out. But yeah, what I was saying is if the Fugoists ever found out about this place, they're going to want a piece of the pie, you know? They're going to want to take this, so you got to make sure it's well defended. As well as the police. Oh, yeah, you got, you got to hide it from the police as well. Yeah, that's pretty important. Otherwise, well, uh, they might try and take it away from you as well. So I, I do uh, recommend getting some getting some more turrets up maybe to defend this place better. Look how far this thing... This honestly goes on for ages. Whoa, is everything okay in here? Looks like an oh. uh, experiment gone wrong. Experiment gone wrong. Oh, is this what the explosion was all about? Seems like it. Okay. Been trying to weaponize indigo berries. Weaponize indigo berries. I see. Well, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, uh, well, he's got his stuff back now. He seems okay. All is good, and repairs are underway by looks of it. That pretty much concludes the tour. All right. Oh, oh. I do have a horde beacon on me, so if you okay. would like to head up to Nora, I do that. Do you know what, man? That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, we might as well. I don't really have anything on today.
Okay, bye scientist guy. Keep up the good work. There we go. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him. Uh, we'll leave him to it. He can carry on his job or whatever he's up to doing very stuff. Guys, I'm going to be honest here. I'm honestly blown away by this place. So S Labs, of course, is Sopranos Labs. And of course, it is a restricted area. No one is allowed in here unless they work for the Sopranos, a scientist or a Soprano themselves. All right, let's get going. All right, yeah, let's do it. And I got a free Grizzly from our, our trip as well. Oh my goodness. Look how hidden it is as well. They've used uh, ghillie nettings for the whole thing. Yeah, no one's going to be able to find this. I just realized this offers no protection for the passengers. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, sounds good, man. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the horde beacon since they've shown me their secret lab area, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, so we're going to do a horde beacon. We'll probably get some stuff from it. And it should be a lot of fun to do as well. It's becoming a, uh, a regular thing for me to do horde beacons with the Sopranos. But it's a lot of fun to do. Also, just while we're making our way over to the military base, if you want to keep up with the series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. And also drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I will be posting more episodes very soon. So if you do subscribe, that way you won't miss out. Okay, let's quickly go ahead and put the uh, night vision back on. We're not going to need our snorkel right now. All right, we're pushing up. So we're just going to make sure the military base is clear before we actually do the horde beacon. Last time we were here, it was not clear. We got into a bit of PvP action. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Also, loot just respawned. So before we do the, um, before we do this, let's just quickly check the loot. Oh, look, there's a Timberwolf here. <gasps> oh. Dude. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, you gave me the Grizzly. You take the Timberwolf, bro. Go ahead and take it, man. It's all yours. That's insane. I've never seen a Timberwolf spawn here before. Oh, yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. Hey, you can have that. I, I have so many Dragon Fang boxes. I don't know what to do with them all. Yeah, they just spawn way too much on this map. Oh, Halo Sight. And another one. That's cool. I don't have any of those, I don't think. Uh, Dragon Fang box. You know, I reckon I'm going to stop actually picking up the Dragon Fang boxes soon because, like, I just have way too many. I don't know where to store them. I'm a little bit low on storage as well. So, yeah, I might, I might just stop picking them up from now on. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, yesterday's episode, I wasn't really happy with the way it came out. Unfortunately, I didn't have much time to actually record yesterday, which really sucks. But yeah, every single episode I upload, I always want it to be, you know, as best as I can possibly make it. And yesterday, I really wasn't happy with the way it came out, which kind of sucks. And I hate uploading for the sake of uploading. I'm not saying that I uploaded that episode just because I had to or anything. You know, it wasn't like a terrible video. But yeah, I, I was a bit short on time yesterday and... And also my microphone settings were a little bit messed up because the gain was a little too loud. So my mic kept clipping throughout and that was, that was really annoying. <laughs> so yeah, but hopefully that shouldn't happen again. I'm really glad that I have time today to actually record and play on the server. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I do apologize for yesterday's episode for not being sure and also the microphone. Anyway, that's enough talk of yesterday's episode. We are ready to start this Horde Beacon. Some of the Sopranos are laying down um, barbed wire, as you can see. This is for when the zombies come, I guess, where we make a train and stuff. And, you know, they're going to hit into it. It's just going to make our life a little bit easier. Also, I've got my chainsaw with me, so we're going to do what we did last time and just, well, chop them up into little pieces, I guess. All right, guys, I'm ready. we got the Sopranos with us. All right, Horde Beacon has been placed up in the tower, and here they come. So, ready? There we go. So hopefully I'll do a bit of damage. Okay, here we go again. It takes a little while with the chainsaws, but, you know, it should be fine. Yeah, this part could take a little while. Just killing zombies like this. Whoa, someone's shooting. Okay, no, we're good. Horde beacons on this game. It's just so much fun to do. And also rewarding, of course, at the end because you get a bunch of stuff. I still can't believe how, like, epic their, their like, berry lab is. And it's underwater as well in the secret spot that no one will ever find out about apart from once again the thousands of people <laughs> watching this video <laughs> but uh we've got to keep it a secret got to keep it on the down low guys oh no the barbed wire it's being destroyed oh well it was worth it oh look at this apc it's just red well let's try and make the whole thing red shall we with blood let's see if we can paint the car yes it's working <laughs> look at that oh yes we have made this green apc almost completely red now let's keep going we've got to do the front of the car as well oh and the back of course there we go green apc is now red ah oh, the blood's despawned on this side 
Oh, well. Easy fix. <laughs> All right, I've had my fun with the APC now. Let's just kill the zombies. Oh, also, we got Mateo with us. I know your name now. <laughs> the proper way. So, when I first met Mateo, I said his name was uh, Mateo or something, <laughs> something like that. My bad. I just, I guess I've never seen the spelling. All right, we got some uh, zombies up here which need taken care of. So, I'm going to go up the ladder and do exactly that. Oh, wow, there's actually quite a few up here. All right, let's take them out. Right, there we go. Job done. Hostiles? Where? Apparently there's someone here. The tree line. The tree line. Oh, I see him, I see him. Let's get the grizzly out. Find that tree where the blood splattered. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Oh, we got more contacts. Okay, let's uh let's take this off. Get the honey badger. We're gonna switch sights from the uh, Chevron scope. And we're gonna go ahead and put that onto our grizzly. In fact, let's go ahead and put the honey badger in our secondary. Did you get him? I think you got him. All right, good job, good job. Is there, was there only one? All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. Make sure no one else is around. Yeah, it seems like that was the only guy. Oh, wait, I can hear, I hear more, more shots, more shots. Coming from the west, guys. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, nice one. Good job, Jackson. Jackson got, whoa. More gunfire. All right, northwest. There he is. I got him, I got him. He's down, he's down. Whoa! Yo, it's me, it's me! Hold your fire! Oh, man. We just got ambushed by, like, three guys. But we, we've taken care of him. Well, I think anyway. Hey, are you good down there? Are you good down there? Oh, it's just a bed. Okay, alright, cool. He's shooting out a bed. Alright, we seem okay. So, yeah, there was, like, three or four guys just then. Alright, I'm expecting the, uh, the mega zombie to arrive soon. Wait. Is he here? Yeah, I hear it as well. Well, just as I was saying, I was expecting the Mega, and he's here. All right, weapons out, guys. Oh, he's coming to me, is he? Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> I've been shout. He's underneath me. All right. Oh, I've been shot again. I'm jumping down. This is not safe. Okay, let's go down. Let's help these guys. Last time we uh, fought the Mega, I actually crashed. There he's there. Take him out. There we go. We haven't got actually that much ammo right now. There he is. Let's keep firing. Let's keep firing. We can take this guy out. Run for your life. What? Mateo! I've been killed. <laughs> no. Cheers. Oh, no. All my stuff. That's okay. Oh, what a mess. Hey, did uh, another guy just come out of nowhere? Okay, good stuff. All right, we're good. I got my stuff back. Look at my dead body. Oh, I have to organize everything again. Oh, that sucks. Okay. All right, so we've done it. Let's see what we get. Whoa. All right, let's share the loot. Everyone up here. Okay, maybe not everyone, actually, because um, we could probably get taken out quite easily if we were all up here. All right, let's see what we get. So we've got a grizzly, a honey badger. Well, there's an echo here as well, a maple strike. So yeah, not, not bad. Um, last time, I think it was a little bit better. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh, there's so many mags here. They're all empty though. All right, we're gonna share, share the loot. I'm gonna take some of this. All right, who wants to take the grizzly? Because um, I already got one from the secret lab. If any of you guys want to take it, yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, guys, the uh, the people you killed, uh, try and get their stuff. See what they had. All right, you guys can take the rest if you want. Share it between you guys. I think I'm I'm done with. Uh, with the loot we got. Yeah, we've actually done really good today. Today's been an awesome uh, an awesome day. Not only for loot, but also just checking out what the Mafia have been up to all this time with the uh, the secret lab. Alright, fellas. Do you want to uh, do you want to head back now? Yeah, there's quite a lot of people around here, so probably best if we uh, get a move on. Yeah, look, we got attacked big time. Oh, that's crazy. Do you guys want the, uh, the ghillie suit? I'll tell you what, if you guys take the uh, ghillie, ghillie suit, I'll take the uh, Timberwolf since I don't have one, yeah? Alright. Alright, awesome stuff. I think that's all I really want from this. We're going, we're going. We've got everything we need from these guys. A lot of it's just like junk, apart from, obviously. <laughs> wow, wow, there's actually a range fight here. Okay, this is not junk. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now we're going. <sighs> there we are. Look at this. All in the rib boat. <laughs> we are all very much exposed right now, apart from the driver. Alright, we're swimming back to the lab now. 
Where's the entrance? I can't even find it. It's so it's so well hidden. Where is it? <laughs> can't even find the secret lab. Look at us. We're all swimming around trying to find the entrance. Oh, here it is. We found it. We got it. All right. Good stuff. Let's go back in. Don't worry, I got loads of uh, I got loads of dressings. Okay, so now that we're back down in the lab, we are safe from outside. We had a lot of people trying to kill us today at the military base. I guess we attracted a lot of attention when we're doing the horde beacon. But yeah, this place is absolutely insane. These guys have done an insane job of building this place. But on that note, I'm actually going to end this episode right here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did by leaving a like. Comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.